Well, despite a loud and consistent opposition to the McEwen Park project, the Coeur d'Alene City Council is moving ahead with plans to turn McEwen Park into a multi-use park. There have been several changes to the plan over the months, which includes removing Tubbs Hill from this project and putting it back with the Parks and Recreation Commission. They're also scaling back the Freedom Fountain and entertaining the idea of a Four Seasons piece instead. The boat launch is moving and there will be a dog park. And tonight, Tori Brunetti has the drama from last night's meeting, but first the question is what comes next? The city mayor spoke with KXLY 4's Anusha Roy about where the work begins. Mayor Sandy Bloom is pleased that the city council in a five to one vote approved a conceptual plan for McEwen Park and includes adding in a basketball court, tennis courts and a splash pad. It's important to to have a vision, to have a roadmap, so to speak, to move forward with McEwen as we progress. Now the city will look for equal or better places to move the Third Street boat launch and the baseball field and also start looking into funding. We will be aggressive in looking for grants uh, and for in-kind donations for uh, naming opportunities and other things as we kind of proceed. So. Looking to the urban renewal district is also an option and using funds set aside for some of the parking and street improvements. It's a plans to change McEwen Park that some welcome with open arms. You know everybody was kind of talking about how this will be for outsiders. It's not going to be for outsiders. It's going to be a year round park. We don't have that right now. The price tag ranges from 23 to 36 million dollars, but the city council passed a resolution to not support bonds, levies or tax increases for the project. But there has been constant opposition to the plan. Some people saying it's too expensive and that it'll eat away at the small town field here in Coeur d'Alene. Some opponents are against plans for underground parking under Front Street and more spots up by City Hall. One reason is they believe it'll bring an unnecessary Cost. I think the McEwen Park project is more about a parking lot than a park. Now that a vision has been approved, the mayor hopes all sides can work together. In Coeur d'Alene, Anusha Roy, KXLY4, HD News. Well, today's reaction seemed mild compared to what hundreds of people told the council at last night's meeting. It took the council close to five hours before they actually decided to approve the McEwen Park plans. Not because their decision making process was slow, but because they had to get through a public comment period that lasted more than three hours. KXLY Force Tori Brunetti is live and Tori, you were at last night's meeting and it was pretty rowdy. It definitely was. It wasn't your average city council meeting. About 400 people showed up. People that were against the proposed McEwen Park plans showed up wearing white and holding signs. Of course, we've all been to city council meetings before where there's been, you know, cheering, heckling, even some name calling. But at last night's meeting, there was a live musical performance. They take paradise, load up a parking lot. Cheap all water features and a skating rink spot. People against the McEwen Park proposal pulled out all the stops at last night's meeting. Why don't you build your parking on a property you've already got? Singing was just one tactic used to get the council to vote their way. I'm tired of the attitude. I'm tired of the arrogance. You guys, you know, elitist, we're peons. Well, the peons can vote you out. Threats, name calling, and a little generation bashing. What happened to children's imagination? Even accusations of conflict of interest. Mayor Sandy Bloom owns a corner building on the proposed entrance to the new project, the new million dollar project. Councilman Mike Kennedy, Mike's long term employer, owns a half block adjacent to the project. How is he going to vote? They are passionate about a park they say is part of Coeur d'Alene's history. They pleaded for the baseball fields and boat launch to be left alone. They weren't the only ones fired up. To the people who say McEwen is fine the way it is, I say, why are we satisfied with fine? But I'm saying, as a new dad, looking towards the future, I don't want this for me. I don't want this for any of us except for I want it for him. I want it for that guy so that I can take him somewhere in this town that I love and have a place that I can really be proud of. And what became a battle of old versus new, a war between preserving the past or building the future? The future won. Five hours wasted. And the money was also a big concern for the group of people who wanted to keep the park the same. They asked the council how they could consider spending millions of dollars on a park with so many people out of work and so many homes in foreclosure. On the Sky Deck, Tori Brunetti, KXLY4 HD News.